Grease Lightning. Hello everyone, it's Charlton. I am going to um, put on this drain cover. I'm fairly certain that's a two inch uh, PVC pipe. It has this um, other additional piece surrounding it, which I think is standard, because those clips right there, you know, they kind of just snap right onto this outer edge. But this PVC is a little bit raised up, causing my, my cover to not fit on there flushly, which it should, otherwise it just won't snap into place. And also people's feet will get caught on it. I guess I could caulk that and make it a big mess if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that. What I think I'm going to do, I was going to return this and try to find something that's a little more raised. I'm not going to. I, I'm going to go ahead and take a multi-tool, I'll show you that in a second, and trim that to make it flush with the, whatever this is called, I have no idea. This is a multi-tool, um, mine's a DeWalt. I think the first person to make a multi-tool, or the more common one, was the Dremel. And actually most of the blades that you buy are Dremel, but they typically fit at DeWalt. I don't know who else makes the multi-tool, maybe uh, Ryobi, I'm not even real sure. I had a Dremel, but it, I'd burn it out basically, and um, you know, so I bought a little bit more high-powered, sturdier one than DeWalt. I like, I like DeWalt, I like Milwaukee probably the best, but DeWalt's good too. Anyways, it's one of my favorite tools because it allows you to cut uh, into something, you know, that you can't necessarily get to the side of, you know, straight into it. So, like, if you have something in a wall underneath something that you can't get to the side of, you can go straight in and cut that way. You know, it's got various blades. These are for, like, um, you know, uh, uh, wood, basically wood and drywall. I'm sure PVC will be just fine. This is a carbide blade, which allows you to kind of cut through metal, maybe uh, some concrete, too. Hopefully you can see me right there. You just squeeze down. It's nice and easy. DeWalt does it like that. Now I'm going to put it on like this rather than like this, like this, so I can get... It can go on either way, actually, so I can get right down, you know, flush with... that's flush enough it doesn't need to be perfect and you know I don't want to press my luck I think I'm good I'm gonna measure up the drain and that's probably it and put some caulk on it make it clean and nice and I think I'm good I used a piece of sandpaper to just kind of clean up my cut sand away the burrs the rough edges and a utility knife just to clean up you know some of my imperfections just to make it a little better but I'm going to go ahead and try to um, put the drain on. It doesn't fit perfectly yet. In fact, I think it's going to snap right into place. This is a universal for Oakley. It fits all Oakley drains. It's not an Oakley drain. I think these tiny little nubs will kind of bend into this, this uh, cir you know, um, circumference, whatever, circle when I tap it in. And I'm not going to try, I'm not going to, I'm just going to tap it into place, put a board on it. And, and kind of bang it in there so that it remains snug. I'm debating whether or not to put a small bead of caulk on there. I think I'm going to. This, uh, this caulk here, which is a little bit uh, tricky for me to work with. It's, uh, it's like a $7 tube of caulk, a little more expensive because it's more durable.
Well, that's good enough. It looks like it's a mess, but we'll see, man. It's, it's plastic. You don't want to go crazy. You just want to snap it in there. You want to butt break it. Hmm. All right, well. But that one's like, this end right here is. All right, well, because it's an Oakley for a dream, it's not an Oakley. It fits, and it's and it's fine, and I'm going to clean up my caulk. You know, I just don't want it raised up, and I don't want it to dry that way. Um, let me work on it and finish it up. It looks good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it's flush. It's, it's, it's you know, it's flat to that um, outer flange piece or whatever that is called. You know, and I'm going to go ahead and stick this on here just for... Probably not necessary, but I'm, I'm like this. And then this, which is a little overkill. But, I mean, what will happen is that cock can expand or it'll just kind of pop back out a little bit and then it'll dry slightly raised and I don't want it that way I want it flat so that your feet aren't running into it you know when you're taking a shower I'll check that probably tomorrow after it's dried and, and that should be it all right the moment of truth I'm sure it's fine but here it is and I actually put a second block on there so that it would uh, weigh it down and put it flat like so uniformly weighted down whoa Well, that looks pretty good to me. No, oops. Looks good, man. How to do it. Good enough. All right, thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.